morning, drone lovers. Ha, ah, today is not a good day to test GPS rescue. Look at that, so many people on the field. But maybe I test a short range one. I have three of these quads, which I just put in beta flight 4.4. And I have set the uh, settings for the uh, GPS rescue. The only thing that I have not set is the hover throttle level, which I'm going to determine now for each quad and set it. It's quite simple. I just hover and find out what is my throttle value roughly and uh, set it in beta flight 4.4. So here it goes. I don't know where I can fly to to return to home because firstly, I'm sitting in the shade and uh, if it comes down, it will come down a tree. Maybe I have to take off further out, but then there are so many people out there. Um, maybe today is not a good day to test it out, but let's see how it goes. Okay, right, see you in a minute. Okay, I have determined the value. Uh, the throttle is at 34.4 shown on my Tyrannis, because my Tyrannis is ranged from minus 100 to 100. Whereas in beta flight is from 1000 to uh, 2000. Okay, the formula should be whatever you read from Terranis, I got minus 34.4. You add a hundred, okay, and then the value you multiply by five and then you add a thousand. So what I got was 1328. So that is my throttle value for hovering. 1328 for my Mark 4. Heavy quad, 700 grams. So later we will see for the smaller ones. Okay, for my second quad, uh, which I have a higher KV motor, this is 1950 KV, whereas for the Mark 4 is uh, 1700 KV, it's, uh, this is a, a higher voltage to a turn motor. And this quad I got 49, minus 49.1 on my Tyrannis, which I calculate to 1255 of the throttle setting in beta flight, so it's slightly lower. Then the Mark 4. Okay, this is my diatone. It's a 3 inch quad. And uh, for this quad, I got minus 52.1, which equates to 1240 on a beta flight setting. Okay, now that I've set all, all these three quads just for testing, I ensure that the initial altitude is uh, at 45 meters. And I set back to drop. I don't want it to go GPS rescue if I'm testing, if I lose signal. So I'm just going to use the GPS rescue switch to activate the uh, GPS rescue and test it to see if it lands properly. Okay, now here it goes.
Thank you.